Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Four Stacks Beer Show. I'm your host, Nathan Hangen. Beside me is the bearded beauty known as Mike uh, Fry. Mm -hmm. Fry all day. Got it right this time. Call. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's tough when you try to mix them, mix them both up. Mm. Um, the beer show basically is all about drinking beer, trying to make beer more approachable, less snobby. Mm -hmm. uh, Mike is the resident beer snob, bottle share guy. Mm -hmm. I'm the everyday, I'm the layman of the group here. Uh, we both happen to work at Four Stacks Brewing here in Apollo Beach. Uh, and so we're going to start today by basically, uh, well before we get into what we're going to do today, is there, how's, how's your world been this week? I know it's Really, been a, really busy. Yeah. Really, really busy. Uh, brewing, just brewing a lot of beer right now, just trying to get, get ramped back up again to a full five, day of week, five days a week brewing days schedule. Week. Yeah. Um, getting Keith uh, introduced yeah. into the brewing Keith, scene. Keith, who was well. on the show last week. Yeah, he, got, he was the guy chugging the boot last week, uh, getting him acclimated to uh, kind of the, bre the brewing side of stuff because he sees the, the front of the house stuff, sees the bar stuff, um, and now showing him that all we do back here is just clean all day. Yeah, it's um, And uh, yeah, so he's getting him acclimated to that stuff and just brewing a, brewing a ton of beer at this point. Yeah, I think that, that 32 ounce suicide boot. I think he just came down from that buzz. I think this he did. Morning. Yeah, yeah. It lasted a good full week. Yeah. Um, it's Friday afternoon here, which I guess is sort of the new day that we that we're going to do the show. Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's like the Sunday session they do it's on, still Monday. on Mondays. Yeah. 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 Um, so it's Friday afternoon. We got a nice crowd going outside. So if you hear any crazy voices or laughter or whatever, um, slamming of doors, slamming of doors, mm -hmm. a hand dryer. Yeah, hand. Yeah, yeah. for some reason. Yeah. <laughs> um, Eventually we'll move into a, a nicer space, but for now this is where we can be on our own, away mm -hmm. from the general public and, and you know, do our thing. So today we're going to start with a guest tap that we just brought in from Cigar yeah. City. Yep. It's uh, called Oatmeal Raisin Cookie. Yes, Oatmeal Raisin Cookie. And it's about 5.5%. And yep. we, um, we were talking before the show started, before we hit the record button. Mm -hmm. Basically, it's their core beer, their core brown, which is Maduro. Right, right. Treated with, um, I would assume, some... Which fun fact of the day is Maduro is Joey's favorite beer. Really? So Joey and I have a lot in common because I like you brown like owls. Yeah. He likes brown owls, yeah. So they they'd actually, in another story, so they had, so in the beginning years when they were brewing, um, they had a batch of Maduro, a big batch, go wrong and it went sour and it got infected with, uh, with Brett. Oh, and um, oh no, it, it turned out really well because there was multiple kegs. And they kept finding these kegs in front of these kegs. Well, Joey would go to these accounts and taste them. And like he'd take the keg because he knew they weren't going to serve it. How... But they was really good. So he just kept cellaring them and kept them. And then would slowly bring, you know, put one on every once in a while. Because uh, just as, at that point, is like a sour brown. So they had a sour brown, basically. Yes, yeah, so they had a sour brown. And he said that right there. He goes, that was my favorite more than just the regular Maduro itself. And then to brew it again, that's mm -hmm. hard. Oh, yeah, yeah, to, yeah, to match that flavor. Well, I mean, we're getting ready to go into distribution. We yeah. haven't talked a lot about it. We've hinted at it, but could you imagine how catastrophic that would be? Like you, you, you launch and then, oh shit, we just put out a, a mm -hmm. unintentional sour. Yeah, oh my yeah. God. People would lose their mind. You're calling the accounts. I mean, that would that that'd be tough. I would, just, then, I would just tell them that the account didn't clean their lines properly. Yeah, yeah. you blame it on the mm -hmm. blame it on oh, them. Really. Yeah, that's 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 a pro move right there. Mm -hmm. Pro tip. Yep, yep. So this beer. Oatmeal raisin, so I'm guessing they used oats, flaked oats in the in the beer. A little, yeah, some flaked oats, some a little bit of cinnamon, some vanilla, and are in there is in there as well. What is um, yeah? What is an oatmeal raisin cookie? Just I, I don't make cookies. Do you make cookies? Are you a I have a wife baker? that does that. Yeah. My wife's the baker. We buy it from the store. I'm I'm the I'm the I cook the main meal. She bakes. Okay. So oatmeal raisin cookie is just oatmeal, um, kind of mixed together with some raisins in there and yeah. some cinnamon and vanilla. Okay. It's it's pretty simple. So that's. And then it's baked. I think they mix. There's think there's some butter. They kind of hold it all together, um, but you know you don't really want butter flavor in your beer. That would be bad. Yeah. yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, I, this is a, this is a beer they've done for a really long time. This is one of their original versions of Maduro that they kind of did off stuff of. Um, I think. Um, it's seen, like what we've done with peanut butter L and D. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, there's, I've seen Imperial. some some old labels when they used to just do 750 milliliter bottles, mm -hmm. um, which like that's when you used to get you know. Uh, I don't know, insert random old beer here from Cigar City back when they first opened. Uh, but this was one of the ones that used to come in those 750s. I, I think it's a, um, it's a nice surprise when you see like a special treatment like this at only 5.5%. Because mm -hmm. we've done, you know, we've got Funky Buddha's French Toast coming in tomorrow. We'll probably serve that in a couple of weeks. Yeah, but yeah. I think we've done that in the show. I can't recall. I, I, I think we did, yeah, um, yeah. But, you know, Funky Buddha is probably our... Funky Buddha and Angry Chair both do a lot of um, 
flavored dark beers. I guess. Mm -hmm. Is there anybody else who does a lot of that that you could think of in the area? Every once in a while, Cycle, Cycle does some stuff, yeah. but theirs is usually it's all yeah, barrel aged, obviously. But yeah. I feel like you know, Funky Buddha tends to do the Imperial Brown. Mm -hmm. Angry Chair does most of their stuff is Imperial or Russian Imperial Stout, right? Uh, not I, mean, I mean, they do regular styles. So they do porters as well. Well, two pump chump, I think, is a. They did, they, they they did a bunch of yeah. They did a bunch That's of renditions of two pump chump. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, the point is that it's nice when you we have a, a sessionable beer. That's what I was waiting for. Ses yeah. Hashtag sessionable yep. at five and a half percent, because you don't have to overdose with the with the flavors. I'm yeah. guessing they probably use some extract in, in here, vanilla extract maybe. Or they, they could, yeah. I mean, raisin, how would you even begin to get raisin flavor out in a beer? That would be tricky. I guess yeah. you... I mean, you get a kind of offset between the cinnamon and vanilla anyway. Yeah. But so. would you... Do you think they put, like, actual raisins in here? Do you think it's some sort of treatment to make it feel like it's raisins? Uh, I don't think... I mean, I don't really get any raisins unless you do. I mean, I don't even eat raisins because I think they're disgusting anyway, so... Do you eat grapes? Yes. Okay, so you eat raisins. I like... No, I, I eat grapes before they've died and gone to hell and become raisins. Mmm... What was it, the California Raisinettes? Oh my god. The California Raisinettes. That's before your time, isn't it? Um, no, sir. Heard it through the grapevine. I have, uh, I actually, I had some of the action figures growing up. Yeah? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think, I, I think, like, McDonald's used to give them away. And, and they did. Like That's that. where I got them from. Is right? it? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, McDonald's Happy Meals. Um, well, before what are your thoughts on this beer? Um, I like it. I think it's, I think it's really good. Yeah, the five and a half percent really does add, uh, it really does add stuff to it where it's uh, definitely one that I could I could put back a few of them yeah. and not feel too bad about. Um, you know, the, uh, the as, really as you like smooth. to say, hashtag residual sweetness on yeah. it. Um, for me, Maduro's not one of my favorite brown ales. Why I do you like it. It's, it's not one of your favorites? Uh, I think it's too sweet. Okay. I think it's too sweet. Um, and I know when you do treatment and stuff like that, you always have to kind of worry and, and, and kind of play off that sweetness and, and learn ways to kind of balance it out. Um, I think they've done it. I, I just... For me, again, I'm not a I'm not a huge fan of really sweet beers. Yeah, I like just more drier stuff. Same. Um, and uh, but I think this is good though. I just don't think I could like if I'd get three in me, that'd be about as much. Like I wouldn't try to put a whole six pack down. I think for me because I know they, they do can this as well. Do they can it? Yeah, this is wow. in cans. Yeah. You know Maduro. I haven't purchased Maduro in quite a while. I I think I you know I don't drink a lot of brown ales anyway, but uh, Maduro for me it has a bit of a um, like a smoky. Um, richness to it that I think is, is just a little bit too robust. A little uh, off-putting. Yeah, it's just when you can't, you know, I mean, I like to sit back and crush a beer by the pool or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and I, you know, it's just not, brown ales in general. And I think with India, we tried to go drier. We did. And we tried to make it so you could session it and mm -hmm. not feel like you're, you know, you're just yeah. sitting Doesn't feel like you're sugar. filling yourself up. Yeah. 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 Um, but, but yeah, I, th I think with the cinnamon that they add in here and, and probably the vanilla too, you know, again, I don't know what they're using for vanilla flavoring, if it's pure vanilla, like Matt, if they're just chucking Madagascar beans in or if they're using an extract or a mix. syrup. Um, we just, you get a lot of that sweetness on there. Yeah. And uh, that kind of sit, kind of sits in the stomach. Still good beer though. Well, we've, we've experimented with vanilla and people yeah, complain yeah. they want more vanilla. And, and I want to tell people, okay, to get more vanilla, we have to use extract. Yeah. So do, pick your poison. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I, I think people in general will pick the extract because it's just what. That's just what they're used to. That's yeah. what a lot of the larger breweries they, they. I mean, they'll do both. You know, just so they have one on the nose and one on the palate. Um, but I still think it's a good beer, though. Yeah. So on the nose, I, I get definitely get some vanilla. I get. Um, not. I don't get a ton of cinnamon really. I get. Um, get more a little bit of spice, but yeah, in the, in the finish you get a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I feel like it's mostly a, a vanilla brown ale. Yeah. Is what it's. Could be. This is why we never call beers oatmeal cook, raisin cookie, because I feel like if you're going to do that, you got to deliver on that promise. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying they don't deliver, I'm just saying that, you know, it's borderline to me. Yeah. I, yeah. I still think it's a great beer. I just, oh, yeah. I hate gimmicks. You know, I feel like you should. You're just not a fan of, fan of adjuncts. You just. Well, I, it's not even that. It's just if you're going to call it oatmeal raisin cookie, it should. Mm -hmm. Fucking tastes like an oatmeal raisin cookie. Like an oatmeal raisin cookie. Blueberry cobbler should taste like blueberry cobbler. Like mm -hmm. it should not. You shouldn't have to do the work with your imagination. Mm. Yes. That said, I, I think overall it's a good beer. The more you know, I got to the end of the glass. Yeah. Uh, it did get a little bit sweeter as I got to the bottom of the glass. We we poured this off tap, by the way. Right. Right. Um, yeah. It's not in package or anything like that. Uh, so this is about thirty-seven degrees, probably. Mm-hmm. 
carbonation was good. I, I think yeah. it's a good beer. I, I think for me, I'll give it a, f a solid four, untapped four. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree with you on the, on the four as well. I mean, same, for me, same notes. Just a little, to, for me, for my own preference, you know, four, I think is good. There's a little bit of sweetness in there, that residual sweetness kind of weighs kind of heavy on Hashtag. the, on the, uh, on the palate. Uh, so like if I went to something else, I'd probably still have a little bit of that cinnamon vanilla flavoring on the palate mm -hmm. and may interrupt the next beer that I go to if I go to something different. Yeah. Like if I go like what we're going to do next, you know, we go to a completely different style, that's still going to weigh <coughs> right nice. on the palate. Yeah. This would be a good dessert beer. Yeah, know. yeah. Yeah, yeah. generally any darker style beers anyways when you're going to have post meal, something to help you relax, help you digest food. By the fire with you yeah. know, a nice cardigan on. Yeah, good barley wine. Yeah, yeah, good barley wine. <laughs> um, before we get to the next beer, there was big news this week. Um, you probably had a little bit of time to read it. I know you were busy, but um, the, with the, the Brewers Association launched the new independent brewer or independent beer. I forget what exactly what it was. But it, oh, um, the label. The, yeah, the it goes on the labels the now. Surgeon General warning on cigarette packs now. I, I've seen, I've, I know what it is. I haven't had a chance to read it. I've seen okay. on various so social media So it's basically it's, it's a stamp for independent brewers only. Mm -hmm. um, you have to meet certain criteria to be able to use the mark. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a bottle that says Brewers Association Independent Official Was certified. it an upside down bottle? Yeah, it's, yeah, which is weird. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's actually really weird. But, uh, so I saw this, it came across my email because I get, you know, we're, we're a member of the VA mm -hmm. and so we, we get stuff like that. I was gonna go apply and to use the mark and then it like makes you sign this license and I was like, I just don't feel like I need their permission to call myself an independent brewer. Yeah, no, and, and, I, and I see from what I've seen on social media, just the, the brief bit, I've seen a lot of backlash because of that. Yeah. Like, why do I, you know, what, what do I, why do I even need to do this? Like, I'm, I'll make my own. And that's like the sentiment we've discussed is, mm -hmm. you know, we'll, we'll make our own and we'll go with that. Right. You know, I, I don't need to explain to anybody that we're independent. It's, no. it's pretty evident and clear when you walk in here that we're an independent brewery. Right. I, mean, I, don't, I don't have 200, 200 gallon, you know, 200 <laughs> barrel fermenters. It doesn't just, out. there's no bling. We don't have a lot of bling here. Right. I mean, no offense to other breweries that are, are independent and have 200 barrel fermenters and shit like that. No offense to them. Well, they earned their way there. Right. Exactly. Oh, we, I mean, you know, we're running a three barrel setup. So, I mean, you know, it's, it's pretty clear that we're independent. Well, the, the interesting thing, I think you had to have less than 25% like investor money or private entity money. Mm -hmm. There's some sort of qualification. I forget what it was offhand. But anyway, like we wanted to do, I, you know, I want to do like independent and strong or and proud t-shirts. Anyway, like I don't need the BA to bless me as an independent brewery. What I thought was interesting, though, was a video I shared with you today, how they, they took like six recent um, acquisition Breweries from um, from AB and Bay. Yeah, yeah, I saw. Wicked one. Weed was one of them, oh, and he's like, "I'm pretty sure my craft, our beer was, you know, pernicious was craft two months ago, and you know yeah. it's gonna be craft tomorrow." And I'm like, he's sort of being douchey. And well, I mean, watch it? yeah, I mean, if you go, if you look at their social media, and like you ever, you know, you ever want to make yourself laugh, just go through the comments on stuff when they post. I mean, they it's like you hard. know, they did get hit hard. Well, I mean, they're still getting. It's like people. It's like, listen, they they know you don't like them, and you're not gonna you're not gonna drink their beer anymore. Do you really have to take you know? Is your day, like, do you yeah, earn something? Well, it's like, but do you earn, like, are you getting paid to comment on their posts at that point? Like, to which reason do you actually have to physically make a comment on their post? Yeah. And, and just bash them, you mean? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's like, I, I get it. You're upset with them. But, like, every fucking oh, post is, stupid. oh, this is going to be a Lime Rita mix now? It's like, oh, jeez. Well, everybody's like, trying to be cool. Like, you you're know? the, like, you're the first idiot to come up with that joke. Because there's 17 other people who have come up with that same thing. I bet so, 4chan does it better. 4chan can do it better. It's, it's ridiculous. It well, drives me nuts. I so The BA thing, like, uh, I'm, eh, I don't, you know, I'm ambivalent on it, but I, I just think it's funny that, okay, I get Wicked Weed. They just got hit hard by social media, by, mm -hmm. by the media in general, brewers. But, you know, 10 barrel, Elysi is it Elysium or Elysian? Elysian. Elysian. Um, Wicked Weed. I'm trying to think there was another one. Um, Lagunitas? No, Lagunitas wasn't on there. Cause, <laughs> but anyway, it was like all these breweries talking about how, you know, it's the BA trying to tell people what to drink. And it's like, dude, you sold out. You got your money. Just shut the yeah, fuck up. Yeah, I mean, you guys, yeah, you, got, you conform to the group that wants that forces everybody's hand. Doesn't ask, they just force their hand. Yeah, like the, so, uh, Budweiser's trying to put people like us out of business, so of right. course we don't like them. It's not right. because we're snobs, it's because they have real tactics to try to put people like us out of business. Right, exactly. And yeah. so that's why we don't, you know, we don't yeah. partner with them in any way, shape or form. But anyway, I thought that was interesting. Mm -hmm. It just came out past couple, t yesterday and today. Um, so let's go to your cellar, Mike. Um, 
what do we got? So, and from from the cellar day, Mike, and um, we need like a catchy song, like we Mike Cellar. Yeah. As uh, well, we created a new hashtag over the weekend at the last bottle show I went to, oh, you and, did? and we're actually think we're gonna make shirts for it. Uh, uh, so it's it's Florida doing Florida. Tell me about this. Florida. Well, it's just it's just Florida doing Florida. So this here, so this beer that we're we have here is uh, actually one of my favorite ones from Seven Sun. Yeah. I had this at uh, at Hunapu Hangover Day a few years ago. Um, this is do you even do you even Sadachi, bro? Yeah. And Sadachi, if I remember correctly, is a Japanese fruit they they bring in from Japan. Um, it's a really expensive fruit to begin with. So I'm actually shocked that they're selling this in package. Um, like this. Well, this um, I and I know they're selling it directly from the tap room. They have it on yeah. tap. But it's a really, really good beer, um, and I know a lot of people. We'll find out. You know, in certain some some hardcore beer snobs that, uh, and I'll say this, they're probably gonna go, "Oh, you're out of your fucking mind." Um, Jay Wakefield's DFPF Dragon Fruit Passion Fruit. Yeah. I think number one rated beer, number one rated beer on Rate Beer and like three other sites. Wow. Fantastic beer, Me a beautiful color, and just that. I think this this kind of holds a candlelight flame to it. I think this is a really, really, really good Berliner. Well, Justin so. over at Seven Sun, they do a lot of good. I mean, they do a lot of good work anyway. They're a metal-winning brewery, best mm -hmm. Florida beer. I don't think I don't think they have a GABF medal yet, but I don't think um, they do yet. They do really I'm good sure. work, yeah. and um, their people are great. And, mm -hmm. and they do collabs like they did a uh, Evil Twin, mm -hmm. Sunshine Slacker. I think it was Citrus Sunshine Slacker. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. So he you know, he loves to go out and collab it up with other breweries. I've never had this beer. You it sounds like obviously you've had it. Yeah, I've had it quite a few times. What was the ABV on this? Uh, it's a 4.2%, uh, it's just straight Berliner. Ooh. So not to be confused with like a Florida Weiss, which a lot of breweries down here are doing, this is a traditional Berliner. Well, this, it, it's got right off the nose, off the bat in the nose. I've never had a Sudachi, so I don't even know what that tastes like. It's like, um, I believe it, it almost looks like a lime. Okay. Like they, they, it's they like a peppery, they, yeah, they post a lot of pictures when they first got, when they, the first time they did it, and um, and that's what it looks like is is looks like little I feel lines. Like just smelling this beer is like yeah. my, the jowls just start to pucker yeah. up a little bit. Do you get pepper in the nose, like um, black pepper or some uh, like a, a small hint a white, of it? White pepper maybe. Cayenne yeah. pepper? I don't know. No, not cayenne. I would probably say uh, I would probably say a black pepper. Something just it feels like it has some heat. To yeah. It. And lime zest is what I smell. But also too, it has that like when you go when you fir that first drink of like a sprite. You get that that carbonation. It could be the carbonation that's coming that's out. Possible. Wow, that's interesting. But yeah, so that, so it has the flavoring of of a passion fruit. It reminds me a lot. Okay, so I get I get some like peppery in the mouth, some sourness, not a ton, but a, mm -hmm. a little bit. And I get some like heat in my throat. It's so like you're dying. I could be dying. I'm getting yeah. old. I suppose you haven't already. You don't get any heat. No, I get not heat really. On the finish. No. Not a ton, just like a minuscule amount. Like if you, um, I don't know, like if you if you put a little bit of red pepper flake or like some cayenne pepper on a piece of pizza and ate it, like just that little bit in the back. No. Like the only heat, I mean, I get like like a little bit of like, I mean, like if you wafted black pepper past this, mm -hmm. that's about as much as I get. Well, sort of. Do you get like it reminds me a little bit of a but not a heat though obsession. No, not that much. Not that much. Oh, at all. it does to me. No. I think you're, uh, maybe the acidity of the fruit is throwing you off. Oh yeah, is that what you think? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I, I think it's black, there's black pepper in this. Or something resembling black pepper. Sudachi, I need to find some sudachi. I don't even know where you can get it. Um, Japan. Oh, I'm sure you can get it imported on it, like an well, Amazon. Probably could. Or, you know, yes, go to Amazon, have them import it. You know what I mean. Mm. Gosh, well, that just got awkward. Mm. Uh, what it do you is think really good. I, I love this beer. Like I said, I, I've had this beer numerous times, and I think it's really, really, really good. We actually, the last bottle share that I hosted, they left three bottles at, at my house, and that's a perk to hosting a bottle uh, share. Well, it wasn't for me to drink; it was actually for somebody else, and I was this close uh, to drinking they all left it, three drink bottles. It. You drink it. I'm a gentleman, so uh, I knew it wasn't yeah. my bottles. Only I made on sure, TV. Um, but I had. Uh, uh, but I made sure, and, and so yeah, they were for so they were for my, my friend Nick. So I left him, and then the last Nick's show I went guy, to over the um, over the weekend, um, I brought over there to him because he was trading. It was a trade with Mark, my other friend. Seventh Son so. out of Dunedin, Florida. They and they've got a you know, what's interesting about Seventh Son, and you and I were talking about this a bit before mm -hmm. the show again, is that their tap room. I think this is the original tap room out in Dunedin, right? Yeah. It's I pretty so, small. Yeah. It's it's not like uh, it's a humble looking tap mm -hmm. room. It's a humble setup. I mean, no offense. It's just. 
there's no flash, no, you know, no well, bling, like the, we talked about yeah. in our place. Yeah, um, and, it, and I think for them, I mean, that's kind of the point for where they're at. You know, they're like their tap handles are blown glass. They're all the same design, blown glass. So you can't you can't walk into somewhere, look for the coolest handle, and go, I want that beer because all the handles look the same. You just have a board that tells you what the beers are. Yeah. So you have to you ha kind of have to be well, adventurous. They they, um, they don't distribute here in our in Hillsborough County. Right. I think that they maybe distribute out. I know they distribute in Pinellas, obviously, but because mm -hmm. they've got their orange. Um, What's that? The orange, graffiti orange? Yeah, graffiti orange, yeah. Uh, Which is good beer, too. Yeah, and I had, I've had, you know, their IPAs are great. They mm -hmm. do really good beers. But I'm just wondering, like, now they got a second location coming. Right. Um, you know, where are they selling most of their beer? That's the question that I, that I should have asked. I guess, I, I mean, it's all majority. I mean, he really does, he's, you know, like, uh, like. Um, Evil Twin Guy? No, like Cycle is. I mean, they don't really care about selling their beer outside of their own place. Yeah, but I'm just saying they have, like, 12 seats in the tap room, so. Yeah. That's they're, a lot of beer to sell. You're fine with that. Yeah, I'm. I'm just curious, like, if you think about positioning, you mm -hmm. know, and as a small brewery mm -hmm. with 12 to 15 seats plus an outdoor area, you know, they're building a second location. I, I'm just saying they don't distribute here. Right. We're, you know, I I'm, guess I'm I mean I can only assume they're just slinging, slinging out of their their other their Dunedin location and then all through Pinellas County is I guess my my assumption. Must be. To it. I mean, I hang out in St. Pete a lot, and I, I haven't seen their beer on tap there. So, uh, I'm just curious what their model is. That's mm -hmm. all. I mean, yeah. it just It's interesting to me. I know Justin used to work. I think he used to work at Bud. He used to work at one of the big boys. I thought he was at Zero City. That's what I thought it was. Uh, I, thought he was at, I thought he was at CCB and then left and went over and started his own. Maybe. I know. Because then he was part I of the, what I joke. He could have. I mean, I'll I know a lot of them up. do. Yeah. I know a lot of them have. Anyway, the, the beer's good. The thing yeah. I like about this is that it's. It's complex and it keeps you guessing. It's mm -hmm. not. It's not a single note, one note um, beer at all. It's, it's not a one trick pony. Trying to yeah, like we just talked about the pepper, the heat, mm -hmm. or whatever. Trying to figure that out. I don't know what a sudachi is. I now definitely want to try. Yeah. Sudachi. Um, yeah, no, like this was. I think you said this is about ten bucks a bottle or something like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which so this is how many flowing ounces? Uh, I, th I think this is uh, European. I think it's like. Yeah, the bottle's definitely... 15 milliliters weird. or something like that. I don't know. Whatever it is. 375. It's a 375 milliliter. And well, I speak English, not milliliters. Yeah, so. I, don't, I don't know what that is. That's, Sean, that's, Sean, that's, Sean can do the conversion because I think they're funny. metric or whatever it is up there. I don't know. American English, I should have. I should have yeah, yeah, with. yeah. Um, not the proper English. Yeah, exactly. Because yeah. they would say they, they use the metrics. Too. Yeah, I don't know. That's weird. Um, I don't yeah, they're really good. Yeah. I think it's it's... I don't know, untapped wise, I'm struggling with this. I'm, I think I'm gonna go four five. I'm going four seven five. I think yeah. I did last time I checked it in. I just I love this beer, so I think this is a fantastic. We've done a lot beer. of sours on this because it's program. it's it's a sour, but it doesn't leave you just sitting there puckering. It's not you know real acidic. The fruit really shines through, which is the same thing I'm gonna mention. DFPF does the same thing. DFPF it's it's just it almost tastes like dragon fruit passion fruit juice, it's and it's cool. so good. Um, had a bottle of that over the weekend as well. Felt like a baller. Yeah. Swimming, swimming in the pool. Got my glass going. Got some DFPF out there. Like oh, yeah. Dwayne Johnson. Oh know. yeah, we were uh, we were balling out of control. Thank you, Wes, for a great bottle share too. Was it was it at Wes's place? This was at the residence of Wes. Yes. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah. Tell Rachel I said hello next time you're over there. I haven't done. Wes is a good dude. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic share. We had. I mean, so many beers. Rachel, really. Wes is. Um, is Former employee, yeah. Ra Rachel yeah. used to work here. The relationship, I can't remember. They're 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 dating. Their husband and wife. Husband and wife. I, I, I didn't want to mess it up. <laughs> I didn't married. want to mess it up. Okay. I think they've been married for a while now. Okay, so Rachel used to work here. She came up with Octopus Prime. She did. Yeah, she was the so one. So I was just trying to give up. Um, right. I, yeah, I didn't want to screw that part up. Yeah. Presume anything. Um, it's been a while since she worked here, but yeah, Rachel came up with that name. And yeah, so she, we, did. You know, she did. She um, did. So we'll always, you know. She should always be part of the story for that right, reason, right, exactly. even though she was one of the, one of the OGs. Mm -hmm. But good beer, I think. Um, mm. I don't do bottle shares, I'm not a weirdo, but um, I, could re I could understand taking this to a bottle share. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, well, that's kind of like the time. palate cleanser, because when you do like six or seven barrel aged stouts that are like 15%, the then you get one well. of those in there? No, you're crazy. Oh, dude, that's just oh you're crazy. Yeah. Shows your palate is unrefined. Oh, really? Is that what it is? Oh, so your palate's so unrefined. Okay, so that you four seven five for you four five for mm -hmm. me. I think compared to the sours, it might be the 
I don't think I've rated a sour higher on this program. I don't think so. You're not a sour fan anyway. I am a sour fan, but I have a snob when it comes to sours. Excuse me, the resident beer snob. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It, when it comes to sours. God, I'm going to have to burp. All right, so that's it. Yes. Um, now we're on to the Four Stacks beer. Yes, yes. Which has the best name out of all these beers. You, you disagree? I do disagree. Which name has the best be name? Uh, or which beer has the best name? Uh, El Indio, I think, is the best name. No, I'm talking about out of the beers we just did. Oh, out of the beer. I, I like you even snatchy, bro. It's you like the name better than... Yeah. Uh, I don't like cleverness. Oh. You're this not is why you and I always disagree on names. You're not clever. So, um, So Depth Destroyer is a mm -hmm. new experimental IPA. Yes, yes it um, is. Experimental session Cortex. IPA. So this is another debate that Mike and I have had. Yeah, this one is 5.8? 5.8%. 5.8. He believes that's a session IPA. I believe that's a nice natural IPA. Again, just because you can session a beer doesn't mean that you have to uh, call it a session IPA. You don't call a, a pale ale a session pale ale. You call it a pale ale. It's a session ale. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. that's, that's not anywhere in the, in the guidelines. Okay, well. I do what I want. So Depth Destroyer is mostly Pilsner malt. I think 90% Pilsner. Yes. With some extra. Pilsner malt. Yes. Some extra, yeah. what do we fill in the gaps with? Some. Some other fermentable grains yeah. and stuff. Top secret. Um, yeah, he just yeah. Forgot. Like, he just forgot. I, I can't remember. I think it was. I think they may actually be a little bit flaked out in there. Some uh, carapils. Oh. Um, I think we put about a handful of pale in there. No, nothing crazy. And then we um, hit the it main, up. With the main base grain is is a pills and malt. Yeah. So it's it's pills and malt, and then um, we hit it up with a shit ton of uh, mosaic, mm -hmm. some amarillo. Yes. Um, some, Equinot, uh, some Equinot, which is a new yeah. hop that we're quite fond of. You know, we, we talked about sourcing hops and how mm -hmm. that's challenging. Mm -hmm. Equinot is a bright hop. It, it's got like a lemon lime zest it to does. it. It does. We'll talk yeah. about that yeah. as it relates to this beer. What else am I missing? Um, Azaka? Yeah, we did put some Azaka in there. That's in part of the drop. I think we uh, bittering hop and it's uh, Citra and the uh, dry Chinook. Hop. Citra in the dry hop. Citra in, in a. Um, oh, that's right. We put some Chinook in there. Yeah, so which is well, a weird Chinook hop. is the is the bittering hop. Uh, or no, do we do that or Warrior? I think we use Warrior, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, we did Warrior as the bittering hop and then came through with uh, uh, Amarillo, Zaka. You can see the those. color. The color is very light compared to, well, we had a brown ale and a sour, so yeah, it doesn't really okay. help. But yeah. compared to some of our other IPAs here, Mosaico was more pale in color, uh, which we haven't brewed in a while because we're tweaking that recipe. But um, on the nose, well, basically, the story behind this beer is, is we're looking at, we, we wanted to do a series of new IPAs. Every week in this summer, we're trying to brew a new summer IPA. Summer series. Summer series, yeah. summer hop series. Yeah, yeah. And we're, we're trying to just experiment because as a brewer, you sort of get locked into doing the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Like and you don't making, really get a chance to, to play around. Yeah, like making prime every week. Exactly. And you're like, yeah. you, don't, you don't get to exercise your creative shops right. and muscles. So this is what we're trying to do. Um, we did a New England style IPA the week after, which is going to be out soon. Um, and we're bringing back, didn't we just do another IPA this week? Whippa. Ah, uh, Whippa. Okay. Yeah, Whippa, yeah. Which, which is technically, a, uh, I think that these days they call them a pale wheat ale. Yeah, IPA. it's a pale wheat IPA yeah, or a pale wheat ale. We were doing it before, it was cool. But um, anyway, this is the first, really the first experiment in that series. Mm -hmm. And so mm -hmm. we, I, I really like trying new hops, trying out new um, grains with, to see which ones let the, the hops sing. Yeah, yeah. And so it was nice to be able to play around. On the nose, I get like um, earthy herbal plus some that, some like um, lemon rind. Mm -hmm. And then I get mm, floral, a little floral. Yeah, a little bit on there. What do you get in the nose? Same thing? Mr. Man of many words. I am. He's going straight to drinking. Yeah, I just... Um, good messing around. What do you get yeah. on, on the palate, on the finish? Uh, on the palate, um, from, from that sit, you get um, you get some earthy tones from it. You definitely get some brightness, some fruit from it. Um, the Equinot really shapes the... Definitely bright <clears throat> Yeah, the Equinot bring, really kicks out that, that kind of lemon-lime zest. Mm -hmm. So like when you, when you get a fresh open Sprite. Not to be confused that, with the Zima that we drank last week. God, yeah, I'm still trying to get over that. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I get a lot of that from there. Um, good, clean uh, um, malt base to it, so it doesn't stick out. It's not overly sweet. It doesn't really, uh, you know, yeah. the, the, the malt that's is there. Like it serves its purpose. It's dry. Uh, right. It, it serves its purpose, and then that's it. It doesn't provide any, you know, any residual sweetness or anything like that. Hashtag. Um, you know, it, it just kind of is there, which I think is good. I think um, 
we and again we we've talked about this. My my complaint is that the citra doesn't really sh in the dry hop. We use a lot of citra. I think mm. it was about we use a pound. yeah yeah. The the citra is really um, outdone by the equinot, which equinot yeah. now we know uh, we we've done a single hop IPA with equinot, yeah. which was good, but it's really dominating. It is. It's really bright. Yeah, and we, we'd it use really it at the end of the, at the whirlpool probably. And, and no, like, this, this, yeah, the equity we use is at a five minute, okay. which even at that point, you know, you're really just pulling out a lot of floral notes and, and all that. You're not really getting just the straight bitterness from it. Yeah, because it's, it's not, it's just not boiled long enough yeah. to get all the bitterness. You get some, yeah. um, but in the dry hop we use equinot too. Yes. And, and half as much as we use for yes. citrus, but I yeah. still feel like it just overwhelms. So. The, you know, if I'm going to knock it for anything, it's that I want to do less Equinot next time. Maybe let something else shine a little bit more. We'll move, we, can, we can move the Equinot to an earlier uh, earlier less, hop edition. Less at zero, less at five. Maybe not any in the dry hop. Yeah. Maybe a little bit. Uh, maybe play around with some more Amarillo, some Azaka. Um, because those are hops, again, that we can get reliably, yeah. Yeah. consistently. Yeah. Citra is still, we, I love Citra, but that, that one's a challenge. Yeah. But overall... I think it's a good beer. Yeah. I think for me, it's my fa favorite. Outside of like the golden era of Whippa, which we can discuss on another show, mm -hmm. I would say this is probably my favorite IPA that we've brewed. I don't drink a lot of Prime because it's too um, strong. 9%. Yeah, 9.5% nine, nine will get you yeah. really quick. But this is at 5.8 is sessionable. Yes. And I know you probably want closer to 6, 6.5. Uh, I'm. I'm I like six. I think six is We did is the Idaho nice Seven IPA. We did. That's right. We did do another I one. Knew yeah, and that's a seven percent. I did that for you. Well, we'll get as close as we can to seven. I mean, I mean, I'm not it's like I, not I, I like. I like uh, Attenuation. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I like a good six and a half percent IPA. I think that's a, a proper, in my opinion, Perfectly proper uh, proper amount. Yeah, I thought it was really good carbonation on this one, um, but I think that's a good proper amount on there. You know, I don't think it's anything crazy. Um, yeah, once you start going higher than that, like a, on a single IPA, I think it becomes a bit much. Seven is tough, like the crank that we did last week, and uh, you know it's delicious, but you, you drink a few and you're just yeah, you're, you're uh, toasted. You're falling down. Uh, but overall, I think this is a good beer. What would you, um, on a scale of least favorite four stacks beers to mm -hmm. most favorite? Or how so my, if it's if it's my MySpace ten friends, yeah, um, I'm gonna put this at a, at a solid number seven. Seven, like. As a low or like as seven is a high. Okay. So one and then ten is your is your favorite. Yeah, I think. What would you What would you say you like about it? What would you say you would like? Um, I, I like the the light base to it. Mm -hmm. I think it's really good. Um, I'd like to to I would change around that equinot a little bit. Yeah. That's um, really I'd strong. like to adjust around the citra as well because lately the citra has been given off uh, kind of a grassy flavor. It's right? frustrating Urtitans. with citra because yeah. I feel like a lot of breweries and this is something we don't talk about, but a lot of breweries get this really nice. Citrus. Yeah, they get citra. a really bright, bright, and it's in. And, and we don't get that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if we're getting if it's if it's old or what you know what season it's from or what if it's been, you know, if it's no, been auctioned. Well, I mean, it's, we buy it generally 2016 crops. Yeah. It's crop year, but supplier makes a difference. Yeah, too. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, we're you know we don't have we're not in the big big uh, right. We don't we don't have contracts or anything like that, yeah. so we're not you know we're kind of the low man on the totem pole. I do like that Pilsner malt though. It lets the hops shine, and, mm -hmm. and maybe. Because it's such a light malt bill, um, grain bill, that it, it probably maybe that is part of the reason the Equinot sticks out so much. Mm -hmm. um, IBUs on this, 65? Uh, did we even go that high? Yeah, I, I think, think 65, 65 yeah. yeah. So maybe a little bit less, 60. I think the balance is okay. Yeah. I think the balance is okay. Maybe 64, 63. Somebody's having a really good time out there. I know, there. I mean, somebody's cackling away out there. It could be Cassie. She is that I don't think it's Cassie. Laugh. It's I did hear Cassie laugh earlier. Yeah, I mean, it keeps drawing my attention because they're laughing yeah. so out loud. I, that's that's what we do. This a couple morning. sangria. It's funny how you, you give people beer and they yeah, have a good time. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, it's funny how that ridiculous. works. Yeah, so I, I feel similarly. I would say, like I said, this is my favorite IPA that we've brewed. Uh, I think we can do better. Mm -hmm. I know we will do better, but I, I think it's a good start. I would like, we're still, you know, I still want to get something more um, citrusy. Yeah. Tropical. Um, but I, I think this is great. Like, this is a, if closer to five and a half, a little bit less IBUs, I think it'd be mm -hmm. a great beach beer. Yeah. Which is really what we sought to do with Mosaic, though, but we just, right. you know, we're still working on that. Yeah. Uh, but overall, I like it. Depth Destroyer. So stop in. We still have a couple kegs left. Yeah, yeah. Uh, by the time this is out, hopefully we still have some left. 
Yeah. This will be, and this will, last week I misspoke. I said a happy July 4th. Yeah. I'm an idiot. You are. Um, in my world, like, everything runs together. This will actually be aired on July 4th, probably. This probably will, yeah. Independence Day? No, it would be yes. Independence Day. Yes. Um, so that is a great beer. Mm -hmm. We'll have a Phil oh, special. Probably will, yeah. You can have a couple I believe so. I'll, I'll, I'll agree with you guys. Yeah. 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 Uh, so, yeah, come in and, and get a fill of this or any of our beers at Four Stacks. Oh, well, two, two new beers by the time this airs. Two new beers, or two old old fr favorites will probably be back by then, too. Which ones? Oh, Watermelon uh, Wheat's watermelon coming back, wheat which we didn't get to do on the show. We didn't yet. We, we didn't yet. Uh, watermelon Wheat and Cold Sport. Cold Sport, yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah I, so. And I really want to release the regular Old Sport. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I think it's still, I always That's think a it's good a good beer. beer. Yeah. Um, but other than that, it, uh, I guess it's time for the mystery beer. It is. I uh, forgot about that. Paul lives in here. Yeah, so I don't know what time it is. Liz had, you know, our food truck canceled tonight, so yeah. we had to go get pizza, and so, but we're cool like that. We are. No food trucks, we'll give away pizza. Pizzas. Yeah. Yeah. And um, so we'll have to check. What, what time was it? It is 5.30. So she's still here before yeah. she goes to get the pizza. So she'll bring in the mystery beer. We're gonna get blindfolded. Yep. We're gonna try and get, we've had a bad streak lately. We have, yeah, the, the house has been definitely uh, run out of muck, which has been ridiculous. I was gonna bring in some PBR for, for the show, but I, I was worried that one of these days she's gonna give us PBR. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, I got that I, one locked down. You'll, you'll laugh, I bought a 12 pack of PBR the other day. Tall boys? No, just regular. Short pants? Yeah. yeah, and it's actually, uh, it's actually pretty good beer. Goddamn right it is, told you. Told I, you. I don't know how they've done it, but um, you know, it was different a couple of years ago. I feel like they tweaked the recipe, made it better. Mm -hmm. So, but you know, I and your palate's becoming more refined. <laughs> you know, maybe yeah. I'm more hipster. No, yeah. oh, yeah. I mean, you I do, cut my beard and everything, you do, trying to get I away mean, from you it. You do use a blow dryer when you do your hair. So Sometimes, it's, it's in the day. You know, mm, I definitely if it use ends product. With why. If definitely it ends use with product. Why. Yeah. Um, picked up some new shades. The shade when I, I saw that. Out, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I thought you were just going to wear them in here. I, I should have. You know. I'll put them on for the uh, for the mystery. There beer. you go. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. Okay. So we'll be back in just a minute, and uh, we'll we'll play the mystery beer game. Yeah. Do to do mystery beer. We need a second. Sean beer. needs to get on this. I don't know what Sean's doing. He, he does nothing all day. I don't he know what he does. I Canadian really don't. Bathrobe and does you know. I don't even want to know what is it. Is it denim? Is it a denim bathrobe? You say denim? It is. It's a denim. <laughs> The, the, the Canadian tuxedo. Yeah, yeah. Is, is, um, I mean, that's all I assume when you say it's I, I in the Canadian tuxedo. I asked John something about the Canadian tuxedo because... Do you not know what it is? Or? I know what it is. Okay. I'm just curious, like, I don't know about the origin of the name. Like, is it, you know... It's I, all Jean. I know that, but I'm just saying, like, Canadians... They were They were jeans. pretty bad. That's why I feel bad for Canadians because they're, they're not as... I guess I shouldn't. You're right. <sighs> This is right. America. I think an Independence America. Day's Mer Independence Day America. Like fucking three days away. We should have some firecrackers. God, we should have. We should have had a firecracker fight. A little. Well, I didn't say fight. Okay. Well, I guess that's a good. That's a good segue. It is. Or not. It is. Uh, we'll be back in just a minute. Um, Liz has brought us a mystery beer from the local grocery store. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a little bit of heartburn from this uh, Sudachi, bro. I just gotta say, there's something in there that's that's spicy. I have to look it up. But anyway, so she's going to pour us. So we have some freshly rinsed glasses. We're going to try and guess who made the beer, um, what style it is, mm -hmm. and the actual name of the beer, if, if we're good. We, it's been challenging. It has. We start off with, you know, strong. At least I did. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a, one or two on the way. Yeah, the, the shows that at magically wouldn't be able to be aired. And then then we went through a, a period of old beer that was purchased. Yeah. Which really screwed us up. And mm -hmm. then, you know, Dave got some weird shit from Total Wine. God, yeah, that was weird. And we're trying to get back on back on track here. Liz is being super quiet. Yeah, like I don't understand. Oh, now we're opening the beer. Now we got a can. Well, I didn't want to interrupt you. No. <laughs> oh, wow. For once. <laughs> I didn't say I didn't want to interrupt you. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. Well, usually you're a fan of interrupting. Ouch. Mike's mean. He's so mean. Yeah. Yeah, you're a bully. You're like a schoolyard. Well, you know, I live, I live uh, by the words of Nas. You know, life's a bitch, and then you die. Yes, so that's very true. It's about where it goes. You're lucky. Yeah. My dad says. Yeah. See, I, that's what I mean. Your dad are best friends. So there's beer right here. Okay. So here, here we are. Ooh, I don't know what this is. Just by the smell. 
pretty oh. sure I already know what it is. Oh, I know what this is. Okay, what are you gonna tell? What, what is it? It tastes like highlight. Yeah, highlight. Yeah. Is this what it is, Liz? She's not gonna tell us. We have to take a blindfold off. I said just by the smell because I go to yeah. Buffalo Wild Wings and it's like a foam, weird ass <laughs> foam. Did we talk about this on the show? No, I don't think we have. You, you have it. a lot of weird fucking experiences. No, so if you go to Buffalo Wild Wings, uh -huh. they have foam that looks like, um, like, uh, what's that? What's the cake that's got really, or the pie that's uh, lemon meringue? Mm -hmm. That's what their head. So like. they have really good head retention. <laughs> well, it's 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 chemical. It's of some sort. But anyway, is this gonna be a CCB heavy show? Uh, I guess so. We get two beers from them. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. It makes else. sense. I did run into Oswald last night. Mm -hmm. um, so you know, it's it's perfect timing. So I'm gonna go with Highlight for the win. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Highlight as well. It's uh, if it's not, it? I'm gonna be really really shocked. But I've been drinking Highlight since. All right. So blindfolds off. Four packs. Yeah, blindfolds off. Highlight. God damn right. Yeah, I was, I've been, I, I, I've been drinking Highlight before it was even in distribution. Like it was four pack. Of course you have. Four pack in bottles. And it was, oh, it was so good then. So good now. So the, th the thing about Highlight that throws me off, and by the way, you've talked about Highlight being your favorite. Mm -hmm. I was going to bring it on, I figured we were going to do it on the show one time. Yeah. But, um, you know, because I, I, I buy Highlight. If like we talked about, if Crank was in cans, I'd like Crank, but Highlight's pretty good and consistent. You like some Crank in the can. Brood, I don't know. I, we still need to find out. Maybe we can ask Tyler now that he's over there if um, if they're doing Highlight out of their current facility or Brew Hub does most of it. But um, I believe they still do Highlight at their current facility. Do they? Yeah, I don't think that one's gone to Brew Hub. I could be really wrong, I, but I've, I thought I'd, I'd heard once that Highlight was still being brewed there, or at least if it's not, it's still being packaged. Okay. At the facility, at, at their facility. But anyway, I, I just by the <coughs> smell of it, I, I knew it. Oh was. yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah. I got a little foam. I've drank way there. too many of these. Yeah. yeah. Well, highlight. We're, we're talking about seven percent IPA. This is a seven percent, I'm pretty sure. Doesn't say does it. A oh, seven five. Holy shit. Yep. That's too. That's to me. That's too strong. You, you have a couple of those. Suddenly, you know. I mean, I put down a six pack of those. Of course, so have I. But it doesn't mean it's a good. I idea. mean, I'm still doing good. So <laughs> I don't know about you. I'm not. But, I'm not face down in the pool. Anyway, what I was going to say about high lies, It's either perfectly, perfectly balanced, so mm -hmm. you don't pick up either any of the hop like bitterness, or it's just a little bit malt forward. Because I feel like. Um, well, depending on how old it is, though, too. I mean, if they're well, cycling old kegs, you. That's. I mean, and one thing I, I love. Canned on five ten. That's not bad. That's old. So, but is that um, on sale? No. No. Uh, yeah, I mean, like I've 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 gotten. Yeah, because usually it's about a month. You can get about. Yeah. 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 I mean, like I've gotten. I've, I have my wife. Now, when she goes and if she Nicole, gets me also beer, known as Nicole. also known as Nicole for everyone out there. But yeah, I mean, she'll go and actually look at dates too. She'll go and search yeah, for trained. the. For, oh yeah, I don't want to say train. That's a. I've got to go home. Derogatory. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, Sorry, Nicole. I didn't mean. She that she does well she and, and does the proper thing and looks for for a fresher date. Yes. So like she knows I like Invasion. That's my other favorite go to from Cigar City. Too sweet for me, but. Oh, you're right. It's, it's, it's a decent mine. beer. It's just too sweet. Cigar City beers have been leaning malt forward to me, which I find interesting. Um, you can definitely get a lot of hop aroma, mm -hmm. but there's not a ton of hop. Um, there's no bitterness. I, I, you know. Yeah. But anyway, that's that's the intriguing thing about highlight for me is it's like um, it's almost like a on a, like if you took a Budweiser IPA, mm -hmm. like Budweiser is consistent and mm -hmm. it is what it is, it's its own unique thing. I feel like highlight is that for IPAs. Um, you know, I I would put highlight against Sierra Nevada or oh yeah um, Stone. Well, I don't think you know whenever I'd rather drink uh, highlight than, than Ghost Hammer. Yeah. Yeah, Ghost Hammer's a lot. There's a lot going on in there. Yeah, they they got a really good. Thing. I think I think highlights is probably. A, I think the malt the uh, not the malt excuse me the hop schedule is pretty basic. This is what I'm talking about though. This weird ass thing on the can. Like, what is that? It's a guy playing highlight. Is it? Yeah. Liz, would you if you? See, you're, you're so two northerners are trying to figure out what highlight is. I, I mean, I know the highlight is a game that's played with like weird sticks and stuff, but. No, there's no. That's not stickball. It's no. They got like um, almost like um, lacrosse sort of, right? Mm-mm. With like a little hook on the thing. 
It's like handball. It's the closest handball. thing. Handball, okay. It's the closest thing you can consider. But anyway, this is the ugliest, it's like, it's ugliest, ugliest fucking can in the world. Handball and racket. This is the ugliest label you'll ever see on a, on a successful beer in your life. I, do you, what, Just what do like you think my mama this? said, it only matters what's on the inside. Yeah, the, the color palette is, and the, the, the font, the bubble font, is like Web 2.0. But that's the same font that they've had the whole time. This, uh, this blurry-ass hop lady, I mean, this is ugly as shit. And if you can be successful with the ugliest logo in the world, then that's a good thing. I mean, that says something. I should, next time you come over to the house, I believe I have... Like, that is the, I don't care if it's Tyler or not, that is blurry as hell. Well, I mean, he's, he's in the motion of, of chucking the ball. You couldn't find one that wasn't blurry? But it's, it's an action Why shot. Why are you defending this? I know you don't this? understand Why are you defending this photography. But next time you come over to the house, I believe what I have one. What you me in photography? You don't understand. Oh. You don't understand the action shot. Says the guy taking pictures of an old Android phone. Uh, uh, an old Android phone? Excuse me, sir. My, my phone has... My front-facing camera has a better re resolution than whatever camera Apple is going to come out with in no, the next that's not true at all. six years. So Apple's got a new cool phone coming out. Anyway, okay, so Yo, they're, 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 listen to this. So I heard they're going to come out with an edgeless, uh, uh, bezel, uh, bezel-less phone. It's going to be That's it's that's. I mean, that's new. That's the like, who else screen is, who, who is who's done a bezel-less screen? Better. They're going to do it. Oh, that's right. Samsung did. That's right. I, I forgot all about that. Brewed and canned by Oscar Blues Brewery in Brevard, North Carolina, for Cigar City. So they're brewing it in North Carolina. They could. Yeah. Well, which one? So the this is not even a Florida beer anymore. Ah, uh, it's still you Florida lose beer. Cigar City. No, or you win whatever. Yeah, clearly, I mean, they win. won. Yeah, Four Roses. Highlight the Merry Game, quote unquote, is a game native to the Basque region of Spain. Tampa was once home to this high-speed game, but sadly, all that remains here is the India Pale Ale that we brewed in tribute to the Merry Game. Pair Highlight India Pale Ale with empanadas, deviled crabs, empanadas, and other spicy dishes. There's no comma there. What do you mean call it? You say it. Empanadas? Okay. It's not that I didn't know there was a Y in there. Empanadas? It's not a pinata. Empanadas. Fine. Empanadas. You're Greek, so what are you even talking about? Oh, I'm, but I'm from West Tampa, but it's okay. Um, so there's no comma. That drives me nuts. Fix that, Cigar City. Or Oscar Blues. Um, drink fresh, do not age, pour gently new glass. You know, when I first moved here, I worked at a, an advertising agency in St. Pete, mm. and we would go for lunch beers because that's what you do when you work in advertising. Because Mad Men. Yeah, exactly. Excuse me, Mr. Draper. And and I was, you know, everybody's around is is getting highlight, and I'm like, what is this Jialai beer? That <laughs> well, you know, they did come out with a version of Highlight called Jolly Ollie. Jolly Ollie. Because that's how everyone kept pronouncing. I thought it, it was Jialai. Yeah, it's Highlight. I, well, I learned that eventually. But there are, so Highlight is still played in small amounts down in South Florida. No, it's not. Only with blurry, yes, whatever it that is. is. Well, I mean, when you're watching, it is a fast-paced game. Seriously, worst, worst can design of all time. It's, it's your opinion. It's, what is a worst can design? Ah, but Light, just letters on a blue, on a blue. Miller Light, maybe, but. Oh, that's New Miller Light, but not old Miller Light. Yeah. But then this, I mean, this is bad. No, you're crazy. It's good beer though. I'm crazy. Yeah, I can drink this all day. Untapped rating. I mean, I give this a four two five. Yeah, four four two five. I mean, like again, like four three five point seven. Four point three five seven. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You said four three five point seven. Didn't you? Same difference. <laughs> Liz, what do you think about highlight? Four hundred thirty five point seven. You like highlight? It's a little too intense for me. A lot of the time. It's strong, right? <laughs> Yeah, exactly. And you're you're tiny. Like a thimble, or is that thimble? Or she drinks out of a horn. That is she it is it the gerbil? Is it like the strap. little the gerbil drinkle thing where you just get gerbil drinkle? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Comes out little drops. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know precious. if that's what we're referring to. Um, well, and also too, I mean, whenever you're going like on your trips to Mordor, you really don't want anything that dry or that heavy in there. You know, or I can maybe, see like a good brown ale, maybe something if gonna, hardy. If you're gonna fight like. Orcs and stuff. But they're, I mean, really, how much do they fight? You know what I mean? I don't like, know. Like, you're a Schmeagel? Like, is that here fighting? Come on now. I thought she was Schmeagel. No. We called her that last week. Did we? No. You so did, not us. we. No, you, but you said, didn't we call him, call her that last week? I, I did, actually, on our way out, I did, I did say that. Yeah, exactly. But I was just trying to, you know, keep it going. It's, it's like a fraternity here. Mm. 
Men only. Mm. And we're, we're just getting ourselves in a bit of a hole. It, yeah. Well, I, I find the most interesting development here is that it's, it's brewed in North Carolina. Well, once once they open, uh, I don't so know. I, I don't know if, if Oscar Blues is open. They're they're Dallas. I think I believe it's in Dallas. I know it's in Texas, um, but I know they're they're building a facility over in Dallas or in, excuse me, Texas. Dallas. I believe it's in Dallas. Well, a big up the middle ground between God, talk, you, the yeah, West Coast the and the East Coast. Guy. Oh yeah, man, but the ass in class. Um, you know, there, there's that middle ground between the East Coast and the West Coast. Well, what's that? So, you know, they have that area there. So once that brewery's built, from my understanding, they're going to be brewing the four main uh, for Cigar City there to send to the West Coast. So I know they are seeing, they are seeing the four mains and some other ones on the West Coast now. Um, I have some friends over on the West Coast that are sending me pictures because they're all excited that really? it's over there. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's a good beer. That's the quickest. That's a record four stacks. Beer yeah, that was pretty simple. That was um, way to go. I think the next quick closest was when I got... Um, the very first beer, right? And mm-hmm. that you thought was Blue Grey Cobbler? Yeah, or I thought it was something. No, I thought it was uh, it was Horchata. Yeah. No, I thought it was Horchata. Yeah, well, you thought, no, you thought it was Blue Grey Cobbler. Yeah. It was, I think Oh, no, that's right. It was it was Horchata, and I thought it was Blue Grey Cobbler. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's yeah, right, that's right. Shutty. So, we win. I think Liz just, she teed one up for us because she was Yeah, nice. she felt bad. But, um, yeah. We did. Yeah. I appreciate that. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that you might have screwed it up just because you were too convinced. Because we talk about highlight every show. Too. Oh, I don't, yeah. I mean, I, I'm drinking way. I, I'm drinking so much highlight. There's no way you're gonna. You can put it in front of me six months old, and I'll know exactly what it is. Yeah. Well, she she tried. Yeah. Well, it's a month, but. A uh, month and a half. No. Yeah. Well, anything else you want to get off your chest before the show ends? It's a lot of hair, but that's about it. Yeah, well, you can, yeah. Nicole can wax it for you. Oh, no. No? no. That's a lot. Yeah, it's okay. like, uh, like a man lantern like 40-year-old virgin. I look like a man lantern Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes. God, that's a, good, that's a good one. Yeah, no, it would look really awkward. That one and uh, this is, is it This Is 30 or This Is 40? This Is 40? Yeah, have you seen that? Who did, there's no one that made a movie, This Is 30. This Is 30 is a guy hung over at brunch. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what this is. Okay. Is. Anyway, those are those are two. Crazy. But this is forty. Paul Rudd. Yeah. Yeah. Good movie. And it's true. Um, all right. So I guess that's it. That's it. Besides, no more. You know, all I want to do is invite Sass for Mike mm-hmm. if you keep this going. So um, happy Fourth of July, Independence Day. <laughs> you should watch Independence Day in tribute. You should fight some aliens. Aliens. Yeah, they're bad. Just don't shoot guns in the air because bullets do come back down. And um, as everybody on Facebook, I'm sure, is saying right now. Don't let your fireworks off too late because the dogs will get upset about it. Well, the dogs are going to get upset, period. You know, I'm, I, I can't go anywhere because my dogs just lose their mind. I'm like, you know what? Like, It's it's the way things go. Deal with it. Mm-hmm. It's, it's a firework on one night of the, of the year. Yeah, well, just don't be the guy that like 3 in the morning going, oh, I'm going oh, yeah. to shoot off some festival balls. Like, Don't be that guy. Just yeah. don't be that guy. Yeah. Like 9, 9 o'clock to like... 10.30 at the latest, that's, that's, still that's game time late, right yeah. there. Because it's a Tuesday. It is. People got to get up and work. Yeah, on a Tuesday. Yeah. All right. So, happy Independence Day. Yeah. Um, we are starting off for the weekend. We'll be back with some more beers next week and um, another victory. Thank you, Cigar City. Um, we love you even though we hate your cans. <laughs> we'll see you next time. <laughs>